Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of Emperor. I should have shown this off in the last episode, but it didn't cross my mind. There is an item in here that you should pick up before you go grinding. You get another axe. I already picked it up, but I forgot to hit record. My bad. But okay, let's see. Yeah, say still. And just so free. Nothing in here. Let's see what you have to say. Attack them back. Yeah, they went back to the North Castle. And that's the chest that had the axe I gave to Guan Yu. I forgot to show that off. But, uh, let's see. Yep, gotta destroy the yellow scarves. Okay, now we got to uh, run around so we can get Hong Zong to join us. There are three ways you can go about this. The first is to do a frontal assault. Then it'll be a five general fight. It'll be all the generals we've run across so far except for Han Zong. If uh, we go to the back way after we get Han Zong, you'll fight just the three Zang brothers. It's a much easier fight, but you will not have... You'll get a lot less experience in actions for it. I'd rather just fight it. And I'm just going to heal real quick. I just wanted to go over this real quick while uh, I'm going over it. I, I'm getting the hang of editing out battles, but I keep talking through them. <laughs> but yeah, these don't take long sides. Once I start doing this, it flies by pretty quick. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up Hanzong. We're going to... Well, I want, this is part of the reason I want to do this. So we will go up here. Hey, Sang Yang. Eh, I'll out. But if we get Hanzong and we go into the back of the cave right there, that is appeared now after you've beaten the three uh, strongholds in the area, that it opens up. You get Hanzong, you can go in there, you can pick up a weapon and do a back attack. I'm just going to get the weapon, because the axe is still a pretty good weapon. And from there... No, I don't. I need to join Song Young. Then I'm going to do a frontal assault. Get more experience and stuff out of that way. So what we will do is... I will run around on my own. I will find Han Zong. Get him to join. He'll have a couple... He'll say one of four things to me, but I'll do, handle that on my own, just let you know what they are. And I'll go over that so, next time I pick him up. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Okay, welcome back. This is the battle with Hung Zong. So we'll just take him out and see what he has to say. Because he's going to have uh, one of four things to say to us. He'll flat out right say no. He'll flat out right say yes. He'll ask for money, or say he wants an exceptionally good horse. Let's see. Eight gold? Yep. This will just make it easier. And... Who has the extra flail? Yeah, I'll just pass the flail on Han Zong. Gonna be using him just for a little bit. I don't have any long-term plans for him. I'm just using him so I can get down in here. It's like, oh, how do we get across from here? And let's see what before. So this shouldn't take too long. I have two people with axes. This should get me like eight experience. Do that once you die. How dare you threaten me? What you're supposed to do is have Hanzong at the front and then make you a bridge. Imagine that. Yeah, sometimes uh, random counters go quite a bit. Either it takes forever to get to a fight or you get into four battles and five steps. But this is what we mainly came in here for, the axe. Yeah, there's nothing else really in here. We could attack the back, and there they are, the three Zang brothers. But I'm going to do a frontal attack once I hit eight. 
so I will see y'all once I hit 8, and I'll be outside outside the town, get ready to attack it. Alright, welcome back. I got myself up to level 8, and I made Lube the Strategist. I now have planned in a plenty good amount of soldiers for me to comfortably leave Zhang Ping Guan Yu at the very top. Lu Bei, I made my strategist because he has 36 tactic points. If I left it with like Nizi or Cheng Dang, it'd be 25. I'd rather have the extra attacks for this fight. Okay, let's attack! No banter, just straight into battle. Yeah. Wu Jian, it can be effective for them to use it. Because it does, it actually does reduce fire damage by a pretty decent amount, but I'm not really worried about it. I'm just gonna set a lot of things on fire. I'm gonna focus on the bottom two first. Now they're not really a whole lot of threat, but if I can drop them very quickly, it'd be nice. One or two. Ah. Ooh, crit, nice. But still, using Yiho is much stronger. Yiho's the reason why I wanted to get to uh, level 8. It is very strong and worth getting to, in my opinion. I really shouldn't have to do a whole lot more grinding after this, but... Oh, well, let's see... Yeah, there's not really a whole lot to it now with Yiho. It can go... It would have been much harder if I didn't have it, but I think it's well worth it. Ooh, six. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot. I might do a healing in a little bit, just so I can go all out. Just have a go, but I want to drop them a bit. Yeah, even with that uh, fire protection they have, we're still dropping them pretty quick. Now then, just so you know, uh, Yeeho roughly will do... Well, well, they're not using fire protection, this is the only time that they're really going to have it. But we'll be doing. It does generally around, figure out seventy-five to one fifty. And now, let me chill all out until someone drops under a hundred. Then heal. That means I'm not worried about. Poor chain gang. Okay, now I'm going to heal. One of the things in this game is there is agility stat in this game, even though it's not shown. Mizu is generally the fastest in this area. I'm glad I healed. <laughs> that would've hurt. I dropped him into critical. Nice crit. Um, yeah, one more round of doing just a quick heal and we should be good. Then just finish it with all out. All out, just finish this up. Just a piece of the land and see what the king has to say. He said he'd make Lupe the heir. Alright, killed them. Peace is restored. Yay! And the people rejoiced. Yay! Yeah. Oh, just so you know, you have gotten like a lot less experience in rations have you gone from the back end. I did have to stop and I bought 200 money worth of food. And no one says anything different. So let's go back to town. Okay, welcome back. Now then, let's see what the king has to say. Uh, ah, so they do say something new. Not everyone does. What do you think I'm here for? Ooh, not good. But 
but I don't want to be king. No. No. Hmm. As HB, H.C. Bailey would say, this is a but thou must situation from Dragon Quest. You have to say yes here. And if you try talking to him with anyone else in the lead, he'd still be a glube. Yep, glube is now your king. Oh, so you're no longer a warrior king. Dongzhou. Cow cow. Okay, basically, Dongzhou has taken over the capital, and we need to stop them. Cow cow asked us to help. Ah. Uh, Let's see. But where is the base equipment? We should have unequipped them. Not a big deal. Could have talked to him, Lu Fang. This is actually Lu Bei's adopted son. And he has it. Well, I should give a flow of Cheng Dang, make it a little easier. Well, all out, but uh. Yeah, we don't have uh, Lu Bei anymore, or his awesome intellect, but we have Lu Feng. He has more soldiers and a bit more strength. He doesn't have as high intellect and he's not a strategist, but he has a... He's pretty good. And he can still use spells effectively. Not as high as I'd like, but we'll still do that. Let me sit real quick. Two sixteen. We could probably get that in less than ten minutes, but uh, I've already done enough grinding for now. So what awaits us next? As we are now in chapter two, once we killed the Zhang brothers and Liu Bei became king, that was the end of chapter one. Now we gotta deal with Dong Zhu and Dong Zuo in chapter two. But where are we supposed to go from here? I will show you in the next episode, so thank you for joining me today. Y'all have a nice day.